As you can see by the title, the whole purpose of today's video is a trip to the beach. I'm trying to show you what Brighton Beach is like here in Brooklyn, New York, and also just emphasizing the importance of self-care. I talked about self-care quite a bit when I was talking about the MCAT journey and burnout and all of that stuff, but I want to take this to the next level because you need your self-care routine regardless of what step you are in in your journey to medicine, your journey to whatever you're doing in life, really. So let's talk about self-care. Let's talk about self-care, putting on sunscreen, going to the beach, and a whole bunch of things that are in between. So a trip to the beach, especially if you're going anywhere in Brooklyn actually for that matter, means you're going to have to walk for maybe two or three lifetimes before you actually get to the train. No, I'm kidding. I'm being a little extra. But um, we had to walk about, what was it, 15 minutes to the train, but it was a beautiful day, so that didn't matter too much. And as soon as you get onto the train, that's when the journey really begins. In order to get to Brighton Beach in Brooklyn, you're gonna to wanna to hop on the B or the Q, and that will bring you to the Coney Island area. Part of that beach is Coney Island, and one part of that beach is Brighton. If you're into the roller coasters and the amusement park affairs, then Coney Island might be the side for you. However, I'm not really into all of that stuff, so I prefer Brighton Beach. It's a little bit quieter. Um, a lot of people from Eastern Europe. Um, yeah, but that's just more so the vibe that I was going from this day. Because remember, the theme is relaxation and self-care. When things get really stressful for me, I know that I can fall back on making YouTube videos, on salsa dancing, on hanging out with the pups in my life even. And every so often I like to go to the beach, right? And sometimes one or multiple of these self-care options that I have for myself may not be entirely pliable. So it's important to have multiple sources of self-care that you can fall back on. What I especially like about beach days is even though they're few and far in between and I don't go as often as I'd like, they're great opportunities for me to really unplug because the beach is so sunny, I can't see my phone. So even if I wanted to, I'm probably not texting you back. Um, so it's nice to just kind of spend a day unplugged. All we gotta do now is find a spot. As you can see here, you don't need anything fancy when you're going to the beach, um, and you hardly ever need anything fancy when you're walking around New York, to be honest, because everything's dirty. And everything at the beach will just get sand on it anyways. So yeah, I'll just bring a few towels, a few um, little fabrics that you can sit on that you don't mind getting sand all over. Bring some snacks that will survive the heat, and of course if you're feeling a little productive, go on and bring that book that you've been dying to read. Also, please do remember, this isn't Puerto Rico, this is Brighton Beach. The water will always be subarctic temperatures. So whether it's been summer for two days, whether it's been summer for four months, the water is always freezing cold. I don't know, I guess I'm feeling kind of bold today because I'm getting ready to just do a polar plunge, I suppose. And unfortunately, you probably see me wearing some nail sandals here. The reason why I do that is because there is quite a bit of glass on the sand from people uh, leaving their bottles and stuff like that because, you know, we can't always have nice things. So I like to protect my feet.
we're not gonna sit here and call these beach scenes graceful no we're not gonna do that but i will tell you that i came out of that water feeling reborn again i felt so rejuvenated i felt like my entire nerve probably because my entire nervous system was shocked by the subarctic temperatures but i felt really good um and if that's not what self-care is about then i don't know what it is You should you should do a, you can do a running shot. <laughs> You're gonna lose a sandal. What? You're gonna lose a sandal. That was not nearly as graceful as I had pictured it. Okay, good. Good for you. Here. It's not easy being luxurious, so of course that meant that it was time for a snack. Especially after all the work that I just exerted. I could have and probably should have bought a beach umbrella, but for some reason, I thought that I was above that type of lifestyle. We actually ended up leaving the beach a bit earlier than expected because my older sister, the one you saw, she got some massive allergies to, I guess, the sand. I don't know, but um, she always has allergies to something, so we had to go get her some allergy medication, and we had to leave. Boo! So between the sand, the chicken sandwich, the polar plunge, I would say that this was definitely an ideal self-care day. It really did force me to take a step away from emails, from Zoom calls, from all the stuff that goes into being a pre-med and trying to organize life before medical school. So yeah, definitely find what works for you. Maybe it's a beach day. Maybe you're going to take the BRQ down to Brooklyn and go to Brighton Beach. Or maybe you're going to find your beach day at home with your favorite episode of Grey's Anatomy with a podcast that makes you happy. Either way, it's time for you to find something that works for you, right? And it's best if you can find multiple things that work for you in different circumstances because let's be real, when it's January or February, you think I'm gonna be hopping on this train to go to Brighton Beach? Probably not. Even though wintertime is still kinda nice at the beach. But no, that's not the point. Definitely find a bunch of things that you can fall back on when times get rough. So there we have it. We are back um, and we had a wonderful beach day today. Oh, so needed. This was the first beach day in a very long time for me. Um, but this, the point of this whole video was to just say that like your self-care, your ability to recharge yourself after periods of stress and, you know, um, big life events, whatever may be going on in your life. That's so important, super important and super underrated. Um, make sure that you're recharging, make sure that you're taking care of yourself because that is definitely the most important thing that you could do for yourself. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this beach day with us and let me know in the comments down below how you recharge if you went to the beach today because I know the temperatures are hot here in New York. Um, yeah, so again, thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I can love you forever because you know how that goes. Um, and I will see you next time.